Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Last time we arrived at Luca, and Titus made an ass of himself, which he's pretty good at doing. This time we're going to continue the opening cutscenes by heading over to meet Maester Micah. Hmm. Can't see a thing. No, probably not. Shh. Um, I don't hear a lot of drums. Or a harp, for that matter. They have very strange uh, musicians playing songs that don't seem to be actually physically playing. And... <laughs> That's a guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that like bat poop? That Mr. Seymour? Or no, that's guano. Eh. What the hell is with the hair, buddy? Come on. Seriously? Seriously, with that hair. The Final Fantasy series has always been insane with the hair. Waka's got the cowlick. What the hell is with his hair? <laughs> This is just going way beyond stupidity, isn't it? <laughs> Keep it oh, well. Spira, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Seymour. Got Maester Seymour. And all of you as well. And Maester Micah. I present to you the son of Maester Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fortnite. That hair is impossible. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. Okay. Cool. You too. Bow your head. Oh, it's reminding me of the Red Green Show. Everybody, bow your head for the man's prayer. Sit down. 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 All right. One. 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 All right, guys. Uh, bow your heads for the man's prayer. I'm a man, but I can change if I have to. I guess. <laughs> um, what is with that creepy look? Okay then. Really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also. Alrighty. Let's go learn how to play blitzball. Um, now we just started. I think we're good. <laughs> Again, there, there's a number of scenes in this game that every time I hear a particular scene, I just think of draws. Spoonie's review from years and we years ago. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. <laughs> well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Walker! Hmm. <laughs> What's that? We're playing the Albed Sykes first. Oh, crap, we lose. If we win... We're in the finals. That's right. We got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first. Let's go over the basics again, boys. No, let's not. Luckily, they give us the option of doing this tutorial or not doing this tutorial. Let's not do this tutorial. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a long tutorial. I'll go over how to play the game when we get to the game, but uh, yeah, you don't need to go over the, there you are. the tutorial unless you're Someone playing it for the first time. Someone said they saw Sir Orin in a cafe. So let's go uh, find Orin. Orin. Oh right, game. Um, yes, Sir Orin. After let's the game, go find him. Why are you looking disappointed at that option? Hey! Hey! hey, hey, hey. The game starts, like, real soon. You come back quick, yeah? 
Walk. Hey, I'll be back. See, that's what I like about Waka here. Yeah, okay. He's like, crap, I really want you to win, help us win this tournament. But, hey, Waka, you know, the important bit stiff, man. is no, helping no, him out. Yeah. Just breathe out. Relax. Okay. Like this. <clears throat> Just breathe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Waka, you're such a doofus. Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. I thought we were looking for Orin. Huh? How? Sir Orin was also my father's guardian. Oh, okay. So, he might know where Sir Jack is. He might indeed. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Orin Yuna was talking about. And the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I guess that's true. I don't know why, but I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Orin. Yeah, that, that's rather interesting. Let's go back in here first. Now, over here. No. Open, open, open. Which one is it? No. Can I not get it yet? No. I guess I can't get it yet. It's There's crowded out there. Stay close. Sure thing. There is an item. I think you're blocking it or something like that. But, uh, yeah. There, there's an... Stop. Stop changing the camera angle mid-run. <laughs> there is an item in there that we do want to pick up first and foremost. What? Oh, the... Hey! Albed guys, right? Albed Sykes, right? Oh, right. So Albed saved me the other day, and... This girl, Riku, gave me food, and... And uh, you don't understand me, do you? No, because you're uh, bumbling like an idiot. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he's if like, you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Talking slowly, Come not going to hell. May the best team win. Hmm. Seemed like a rather strange scene. Okay, then. First things first, let's go this way. Oh, you ain't gonna tell me? No, they, we don't get to talk to find out their names yet. That's fine. Oh, well. We will find out later. All right. I don't think we can go in most of them. It's on the floor here. Yeah, behind this guy. Now, here's the thing. If you're playing... Uh, the PS3 or the PS4 version, you're playing on a TV that's, you know, 10 feet away as opposed to a computer screen that's, you know, two, maybe three feet away from you max. It's a lot more difficult to find, even on a big TV. But you can see there's a book down there. Probably not if you're watching this on your phone, but that is Elbed Primer number six. It's very easy to miss a lot of these if you're uh, playing on a TV, at least I find. Uh, the Ronzo, not so great as a team. The thing is, is the, uh, the Albed Sykes, the team we're playing first, they're probably the most difficult team to play against in all of Blitzball. You'll find out why when we get to that point, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so, first things first, go left. And we will find... Oh, Waka. The stores in the stadium are closed on a tournament. Why? But I'm always open for business. Yeah, that's a great thing. Got any weapons? The Stunning Steel. It's got slow touch. We are not going to learn the slow spell for a quite a while. So picking up this is very much a good idea. So we're going to buy... What? What? Oh, I, I was looking at the numbers. I was like... How, why, why, do, why are the two numbers different? It's like, oh, that's how much skill I have left. Um, sure, we'll equip that. Uh, you got Poison Touch, which doesn't matter. Uh, you could buy the Lightning Strike weapon if you wanted to. Uh, I don't think any of those are particularly important, so I'm not going to worry about those. Uh, I probably won't end up using the Dark Touch weapon, but... The people here are so into the game, they don't even look at what they're buying. I do. Gotta love Blitz, eh? Yeah. Welcome... All right, items. You got anything good for items? Ah, yes, we want to pick up, no, about five of each of the basics. We got enough of those, enough of those. Good to go. All right. Now that they've uh, changed everything, moved the boats and all that, we can get 600 gil here. 
And what do we got here? A title spear for, uh, uh, don't know what that means, but sure. Um, I think that's all that are, that's on this dock, or is there something in behind here? They hide a number of chests around here, so you gotta be kinda careful that you're not, uh, missing out on them. Uh, but we do want to, uh, run over here now that we have the opportunity. I don't think there's anything else we need to, uh, talk to anybody about. I don't think we get any items around here, but... Alright, so let's go this way. Ah, see? Now there are treasure chests about. There's two Phoenix Downs. Now... Don't think there's any more around here. I think it's the next one that has two more, though that might be later on as well. Let's, uh, let's see if they're actually here. Uh, there's none here. So there should be two here if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, I think... Okay, I was in the wrong one. I thought this was the last uh, of the docks, but it's not. I knew it was on the last of the docks, I just thought that that one was the last one. So now you have to uh, keep going over this way and here they are. There we go, that's better. All right, so you go down here and you go through Secret Passage and there are two hidden chests back here. One containing a Magic Sphere, the other one containing an HP Sphere. Both of which are particularly useful. Let's take a look at our HP values, 800, 500, 500, 1,000, 700. Now, there are a few spots you could make use of them. Uh, the first one, uh, I'm going to use the Magic Sphere for Lulu, since obviously she's gonna need more magic damage than anything else. Now, these spheres that we've been picking up here, what they do is they fill an empty node, like you just saw, with a node that has four to that stat, or in the case of uh, MP, uh, 40. In the case of HP, it will be 300. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some of them, not all of them that we get throughout the game, to give some advantages to some of the characters that I uh, that basically need those advantages. Uh, I might end up using the MP one on Lulu. Uh, I might use it on someone else. Uh, oh, stop. Uh, who else? Let's see. Waka probably needs an MP sphere. Are you close to an empty node? You were on an empty node. That works out perfectly. MP sphere, there we go. And then you're going to use a mana sphere to learn that one. And then he has more than double the MP that he had from before because he didn't really have all that much. I'm gonna give a little bit to uh, Titus as well as soon as he gets close to another empty node there, which unfortunately looks like it's gonna be a little while. I could have held on to it and used it here, but. I'm not going to wait around usually for stat nodes, you know, like to get um, a key sphere to unlock something or, you know, wait for an empty node or wait at an empty node just so I can get an item to put in it later. I'll usually just get it whenever I get it and then put it in at the next opportunity. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to that, but yeah, we'll give Titus some MP there as well. And uh, let's see, I might, I'll either give... The HP sphere that I got there is either going to Yuna or to Lulu, just because they need it. Uh, the Lux sphere, I would hold on to that until post game because you don't need it in the main storyline and it's not gonna help you. So I would just hold off on it till you really actually need it, which is only in kind of the uh, post game content. All right, so we got that. Oops. Timer back on there, forgot to do that. Oh well. We'll head down here. There we go. Um, so yeah, I don't think we can do anything else around here. So let's head down this way. That's a long introduction to a cutscene, considering no one has said anything yet. <laughs> Finally. I'm so, yeah. sorry. Please let me through. 
Kamari is kind of the, uh, you know, the full-time hey, guard. Let's go. You're really famous. Yeah. You should know what that's like. Your dad was super famous too. I hope we don't get separated. Yuna. Huh? Foreshadowing. What was that? A whistle? <laughs> In Xanarkin? We do this to cheer on Blitz players. Now, I'm not sure how exactly he's managing to do that with gloves on, but, uh, you try okay. It too. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like this? Uh uh. Not like that. This. We're, then, we're, we're teaching Yuna how blow. to whistle. I've never been able to whistle like that. I've, I tried a couple of times, working. but I've was never Practice. able to do that. You know, I can whistle, okay. you know, just by hey, mouth that. alone, but separate. never with the fingers in my mouth, then which I'll is probably running. for the better okay. anyway. <laughs> well, guess we should just stick together then, until you can do it. Yes, sir. Okay, that was kind of a strange line there. Let's go up here. Now... I always think the book is here. Is the book here? Is the book here? Or am I remembering things wrong? I could have swore the book was up this area, but... I thought there was a book up here somewhere. The next Elbed Primer. I, I know it's in this city. I'm... Ah, there it is. I knew it was, I always think it's around here, but I can never remember which which uh, particular screen. This is the movie theater and the song thing. Um, you can basically view any of the cutscenes and any of the music from the game, but I think you have to pay for them, so there's no reason to ever do that. Again, again, this game originally came out in, what, 2001? Even then we had internet, so... Because I guess... We didn't really have YouTube then, so I guess maybe that's why it was a feature back then. But now we have YouTube and all the cutscenes, including this video, and all of the soundtrack are available easily um, just, you know, here. Whoa! This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. Because when a lot of people start to gather... Sin? Oh. Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. And it's the only one. The Crusaders one. fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spear is a little short on fun these days. No Whoa. doubt. Talk about pressure. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too? Bigger. Lot less open. Hmm. Well, there are more buildings, all tall ones, and cramped together. Oh. <laughs> they must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? Oh, this game is funny. From the perspective of, you know, the people who are supposed to be Let's playing the game, specifically, you know, a lot of the uh, Japanese, you know, the however many people however many millions of people live in say tokyo alone there's a lot of very cramped together areas you know new york and la and all these all these huge cities are all the same way and a lot of those people are the ones that will end up playing uh this game so you know the the irony that they the perspective they put in is pretty cool um we could talk to a bunch of people but we don't have to you could come up here and grab a treasure chest now uh, Actually, I think there's a little cutscene up here, too, if I'm not mistaken. 
So we'll get the treasure chest, and then we'll see if there's a, a cutscene. I think there's a cutscene. I think I usually skip the cutscene because I don't come up here. Ah, there it goes. Yeah, cutscene. What you doing here? The tournament's about to start. I'm looking for someone. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. There aren't many people here. Helpful. Everyone's either at the stadium or watching the game on the sphere. They love their blitz ball. Aren't you gonna watch? We'd like to, but we're waiting for some couriers. Hmm, they're late. Wanna ditch the courier and go watch the game? <laughs> but, but we're still on duty. What about the mission, sir? Uh... See what I mean? We might be a little late, but we will go watch you play. Cool. You better be winning when we get there. Sure thing uh, there, buddy. Yes, sir. All right. So anyway, we got to watch that little cutscene there. And let's roll down here. And Yuna got stuck. Yay. Bye, Yuna. See you later. <laughs> all right. And she warps back. That's pretty much all the time we have for today, though. I don't think there's anyone else particularly useful to talk to around here. Uh, our goal is to head into the cafe here, but that's going to start a longer string of cutscenes, and we don't really have time for it today. So that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.